Hi there, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 28 from the Amplified Translation, and it reads as follows. He who leans on and trusts in and is confident in his riches will fall, but the righteous who trust in God's provision will flourish like a green leaf. Family, other translations say will flourish like a healthy plant in spring. And isn't that so true for the life of a Christian who puts their trust in the Lord for their provision? The unfortunate thing is, family, we live in a world that has tried to condition us to believe and put our faith in our jobs and our finances and our houses and our cars and our social status and all of these things to protect us and to keep us and provide for us and keep us happy. And the, this this poison has literally leaked through and seeped through into Christianity. And there are many Christians out there who still believe in their finances and their jobs and all of these things as their sources of provision. But the, it's a very dangerous place to be, family, because as the scripture says there, if we put our faith in these things, we will fall. The world will fall for putting their faith in these temporary things, the things of this world, the finances of this world, because the truth is they can be taken away just like that family. And that's what we've seen over the course of the past few months with the, the coronavirus pandemic and the economic economic climate that the world is in at the moment is many people have lost their jobs as a result of lockdown and all these kinds of things. And consequently, they've had their security blanket ripped off of them, their, their jobs, their finances, the things that they put their faith in have been ripped away from them. And consequently, we're seeing an increase in the number of suicides globally, family, because these people, the things that these people are trusting in have been taken away from them and they don't know what to do. As it says there, when we put our faith in these things, we will fall. But the beautiful thing is, family, to us, as God's children, we have his provision available to us. There are numerous promises, countless promises in the word of God where God has promised us that he will provide for us, where he's told us not to worry about provision and how the money is going to come in and the next meal that we're going to have and all these kinds of things. The Lord says that if we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness above all else, all these things will be added to us, family. But the key is to seek God's kingdom, to seek his righteousness, to live righteously, to walk a walk with the Lord, family. And as the scripture says, that to put our trust in the Lord to provide for us. When we do this, family, we will live in what the scripture says, that we will live in the promise because it says that when we trust in the Lord for his provision, we will flourish like a green leaf. We will flourish like a healthy plant in spring, family. And that is how it is, irrespective of the economic climate, irrespective of what's going on in the world around us. If we put our faith in the Lord to be our provider, he will cause us to flourish while other people are struggling, family, because that is how the Lord is. He's not limited by the economic climate of the world. He's not limited by the riches of this world. He is an unlimited God family. And if we trust in him to provide for us, he will provide for us irrespective of what's going on family. We just have to make the decision to trust him, trust in his provision, trust that he will provide for us and not in our riches family. The Bible says that we must either love God or love money because if we we cannot love both because we'll hate one and love the other. So we must choose, family, to love God. We must choose to put our trust in God and choose not to put our love and our trust in our finances. And we will walk in the promises of the scripture. We will walk in the promises of the word of God. We will walk in the abundant provision that the Lord wants to give us. And we, as Christians, will flourish in this life while the world around us may be going chaotic, family. So I want to encourage you going forward, family, be the Christian who puts their trust in the Lord for his provision in your life, irrespective of what you're going through, irrespective of what's going on around you, put your trust in him to provide and he will provide. He is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. And if he said he will do it for us in his word, he will do it, family. If he said, if we trust in him for provision, we will flourish. We will do just that, family. It's a promise that we can stand on the word of God and the word. And the Lord is not a man that he should lie. So if he said it, we better believe it that he means it. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. Before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and your promises in your word. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. Lord, and we thank you, Lord, that as we put our trust in you to be our provider, you provide for us, Lord, that you show yourself strong on our behalf. Lord, I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to grow in our trust in you to be our provider, Lord, to know that you are our provider, Lord, and not to put our faith in our finances and our jobs and all these temporary things, Lord, but to put our faith in you. And we thank you, Lord, that as we put our faith in you to be our provider, Lord, that you show yourself strong on our behalf. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're busy doing and accomplishing in us, through us, and for us as we continue to put our trust in you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah.